Okay, so here we have one more interesting example in which we are told that the perimeter of a regular pentagon is 100 centimeter. How long is it each side? So now here we are given the perimeter, but we need to find out the length of the side. So first let's just quickly make a pentagon and let's try to make a regular pentagon. So I'll try my best to make it as regular as possible. So yeah, it looks like a regular pentagon. And um, so what we have the perimeter of this pentagon the perimeter of this pentagon is 100 centimeter. Now we want to find out the side. Let, let, let's just say that the side is L. So we want to find out what is the length of these sides. Now we know that a regular pentagon, regular pentagon means that the length of all the sides is going to be equal and it's a pentagon so it has five sides. Now if you recollect our earlier discussion we told that the perimeter for a regular figure is given by n that is the number of sides multiplied by the length of a side. So what we are given here is perimeter so I can just replace this perimeter with 100 centimeter or 100 and then what is n? n is the number of sides. So for pentagon it is 5 and what I don't know is L. L is this here. This L, the length of the side is what I don't know. Now we have this. What I can do is I can divide both of these sides by 5. So this 5 cancels out here and this gives me 20 equals L. Or can I say that the length of side is equal to 20 centimeter? So this so this is an example in which we went reverse way that we knew a perimeter and we found out the length of this pentagon. Now let us see one more example and this one is a bit interesting. So it says that a piece of string is 30 centimeter long. Now we have a fixed length of the string and what we want to do is we want to construct different regular shapes or different shapes. Okay and the, the problem says what is going to be the length of each side if the string is used to form a square, an equilateral triangle and a regular hexagon. So let us first start with a square. Now when I have 30 centimeter and I want to form a square. So we have square okay. and now since the piece of string is 30 centimeter long so it, it simply means that I have to form a square using this. So when I form the square I must use the entire 30 centimeters of length of the string which means that when I go along the square I will be covering 30 centimeters. So can I say that the perimeter of this square equals 30 centimeter. Now a square has four sides and the sides, all the sides are going to be of equal length. And we know that the perimeter for a regular shape is the number of sides into length that is what gives us perimeter. So can I just, is for n, that is number of sides, I'm going to write 4. I do not know the length but I do know that 30 centimeter is my perimeter or when I divide by 4 on both the sides. So what I get L is 4 divided by 30 which is like 7.5 centimeter. Therefore, the length of a square that I want to form using this 30 centimeter string is going to be 7.5. Now, similarly, we can apply this concept for an equilateral triangle. Now, since it is an equilateral triangle, so the length for this triangle is going to be same L. 
So essentially what we have here is n times l equals 30 centimeter because we have to use up the entire string in forming this equilateral triangle. So for n we have three sides I don't know l and 30 is what I know then what we can do is dividing 3 times l by 3 and also dividing 30 by 3 what we get l equals 10 centimeter. Therefore the length of the side of an equilateral triangle that we form using this string will be 10 centimeters. Now let us take a regular hexagon. Now when I say a regular hexagon, hexagon has six sides so it is going to be something like this. So it, I have tried to make it as regular as possible and the length L is what we have to find out. So again we can use the same rule that we knew that n times L is 30 because when, when I start from here and come back here I, I should have used 30 centimeters long string. So we know that the perimeter of this is 30 centimeter. Now since it's a hexagon so it is 6. So we have 6 times L equals 30 or when I divide by 6 on both the sides what we get is L equals 5 centimeter. Okay. Now there is an interesting observation which you would have seen here. So for a fixed length what is happening to the sides? So what has happened is so okay, we, the minimum number of sides is triangle it has three sides then comes square in this case and then we came to hexagon of course you could also have a regular pentagon as well but in this example we have these three figures so what is happening to the lens as you can see that since this is fixed and what happens is when the number of sides increases the length L has to be divided into more sides therefore the figures with larger number of sides will have lesser the length. So the figure which has maximum length in this case is this hexagon, uh, sorry, is the triangle because it has the minimum sides. Whereas the figure that has minimum length is the one which has maximum sides. So in this case it is the hexagon. So this was just a small observation about perimeter.